Hello, Mr. Rabelais here again with a homework helper for probability and combinations. Now this is a unit in math where we teach the kids about some probability statistics and possible combinations of things. And it's a pretty easy skill. That's why we put it near the end of the year. Let me show you the two main things the kids need to, go, need to know about probability and combinations. When we have a question like this, Walter had three cards and three envelopes. How many different combinations of cards and envelopes would he have all together? Now the question is, if we take these cards, we replace this card, this card number one, I could put it into this envelope, or that envelope, or that envelope. That one card has three combinations. Likewise, all the other cards have three combinations. Card number two, card number three, both can go in any of the three envelopes, and card number three could go in any of the envelopes. Now that gets a little messy for a while. We teach the kids to do that to start with because it gives them something tactile or something concrete to actually do. Draw the line from card one to all the possibilities. Well, there's three possibilities. There's also three possibilities with card number two and three possibilities there. So the total combination of cards and envelopes is nine. Three plus three plus three. The shortcut to that, which is fine to teach the kids at this point about combinations, is how many items are in group one? Three. How many items in group two? Three. And it's just as simple as that. Three, three combinations of three groups. Three times three is nine. That's combinations part of probability and statistics. Let me show you the probability. It's pretty easy also, but the kids need a little bit of practice just to kind of get good at it. That type of question might be, if I had all of these marbles in a bag or a jar or a container, and if without looking, I randomly reached in and took out one marble, what's the probability? What are the chances that I would take out a green marble? Well, let me tell you what the trick to that is. First of all, it's always going to be a fraction. It's going to be one number out of something. The denominator of the fraction, the bottom number, is always going to be how many are in the whole. How many in the whole bag? Two, four, six, eight. So the probability of drawing anything out of this bag is some number out of eight because there's eight possible choices here. A green out of this, since there are two greens, your chances are two out of eight. Two greens out of eight is the whole. How about blue? What are the chances of reaching into the bag and pulling out a blue marble? Well, again, there are eight marbles in the bag, and one, two, three blue. So the chances of drawing out a blue marble are three out of eight. And likewise, red is three out of eight also. That's as simple as it, or as difficult as it gets. That's probability. And almost all the questions have to do with some color of tile, some color marble, some letter, and as a total number, that's your denominator, and then it says this specific item, how many of those are there? So you get the idea here, there are three, three, and two. Those are the probability. That's probability, combinations, a little bit of statistics there, getting them ready for junior high. Practice probability and combinations. Thank you.